All right, welcome back to Barfly Freeport. Today we're going to be, well, I guess we're reviewing the Bartesian. Uh, a couple of few months ago, we did a uh, video called Will This Replace Me? That was actually on our Barfly channel. This was That was a while ago. It was actually before Barfly Freeport even existed. We did an episode called Will This Replace Me? And we, uh, we basically did a pod system. We did a review on a pod system called The Drinkworks Machine by Querig. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Bartesian. So right after the Querig episode aired, everybody was like, why don't you do a Bartesian? It took us a while, like a year or something, and we were finally doing the Bartesian. The Bartesian is a little bit different than the Querig in that, or the Drinkworks. I'll say the Drinkworks because people bust me on the pronunciation of Querig all the time anyway. Uh, the Bartesian is a little bit different than the Drinkworks machine in that instead of having the booze and all the mixer in a pod, it has just the mixer in a pod, and then you have your booze inside these little uh, kind of canisters. So each one is uh, labeled whiskey, tequila, vodka, and for some reason, gin and rum have to share one. Not, um, not uh, a container, but a space. No, well, they share a space, and so you can't do a, a, like a rum drink and a gin drink if you wanted to do a gin drink, you'd have to fill this with gin, do your gin drink, empty it out, put rum in there, and do the rum drink because no. the machine knows that this space is for gin and rum from yeah. this space. Or you just put it in that fifth bottle that we have. Oh, the fifth bottle, right. But you'd have to switch the bottle. Either way, you'd have to switch the bottles out, which kind of sucks. I don't know why they didn't do that with vodka. It should be vodka, tequila, and one. And then rum and gin should have their own place. But that's my, that's my own internal hierarchy saying that. Uh, so basically, uh, you have you basically have have it all here. You have a, a little water reservoir here, right? Um, and when it comes to the pods, hold on, I'm gonna put this on like kind of fits on a specific way. Uh, when it comes to the pods, the pods have these barcodes on them, right? So today we're gonna be making a whiskey sour. It has this barcode, and so when you put it inside uh, the little, you know, pod. I don't know yeah, what. Put it in the machine, yeah. The pod chalice, <laughs> whatever. When you put it inside the machine, there's a little laser that reads the barcode and it will tell the machine which, which uh, position to pull from. Uh, and that is, that's basically the gist of it, right? Yeah, and uh, unlike the Drinkworks, this does not chill the water. Yes, this does not chill the water, which I'm gonna have, I'm, I'm telling you that I have problems with this uh, already because I, we, we've tested this, we kind of know how it works. Uh, so the bar tea, so the bar, the, the Drinkworks machine actually chills as it pours. And so you can pour right into a glass. Whereas this, you actually have to pour into a shaker filled with ice. And, but it also adds dilution. Yeah. So if you put it into a shaker filled with ice and then shake it, but it also has dilution, to me, that's going to be an over diluted drink, but we're going to find out. All right. Either way, this thing does not chill. So even if you don't shake it, you need to pour it into a glass filled with ice at least. Yeah. Uh, but it did actually have a picture of a shaker on the LCD screen. So basically the way you do this is the LCD screen kind of takes you through the menu and it asks you a bunch of different questions. Well, why don't we just actually do this now, yeah. right? That's okay, great. so we take our pod. We're gonna be making a whiskey sour. We open it up, we put it in here, close it in. And then it says, place low ball glass with ice under the dispenser. Okay, so we don't actually have to pour it in there. Huh. It changes for each cocktail. So we're gonna take our low ball glass, we're gonna fill it with ice. Hey, you know what, out of this. She's gonna put a big rock of ice in there. Put our low ball glass in there, right? It's on the Cosmo, it wanted us to shake it. Right, but that's, it's still weird to me that it wanted us to shake it. Because we shake the Cosmo, I'm not really understanding why. Yeah. Because it's adding dilution. So well, I'm, guess... I'm wondering if this thing says, okay, this much dilution for this cocktail because they're going to shake it, mm -hmm. or if it's just over diluted. I don't know. All right, so we place our low ball in. Uh, it has a little picture of a low ball glass in there, and then you just press next. And then it asks you the spirit strength. Do you want a mocktail? So what's kind of cool about this thing is that if you want just a mocktail, it'll pour just what's in the pod and water, which is kind of cool. And then it asks for uh, light, regular, or strong, which is giving people the wrong idea of what questions to ask when they go inside a bar. But for this purposes of this machine, you can make it 
it'll use however much booze you want it to use. But there could be, theoretically, there could be more, um, more uh, mixer in there if you want to, to make a strong cocktail, but it uses less mixer when it's uh, a light cocktail, maybe? No, it's, it uses less booze and more booze. Rabbi, you do we know that it, it completely empties out the container when we do all of Yes, 100%. So we did a regular cocktail uh, when we did the last, when we did this, when we tested it, mm -hmm. and it and completely it cleared it out. So it's going to clear this out because this is just a couple ounces, right? Oh, so okay. it's going to clear that out, and then what it's going to do is it's going to use more, it's going to use no booze, not so much booze. A regular amount of booze or a lot of booze and that right there is going to mess with the balance of this cocktail that being said i don't know if we can really be too holding this thing to too high of a standard it's a machine yeah right so let's just mix the cocktail let's press mix oh it just immediately goes i mean i can tell you right now that I don't know if we can really title this video, Will This Replace Me? Because it's not going to replace me. That's for damn sure. Mm. There it is. So, it's got dilution in it. We poured it over a rock. The thing is, is that this is still going to be le lukewarm. So, you're probably going to want to put chilled water in this reservoir. That being said, the whole point of this is to be able to let it sit around. So even if you put chilled water in it, that's only gonna give you a couple of rounds maybe before it becomes room temperature anyway. So that's a big fail for this machine just on the up and points up. Let's, let's see how the cocktail works. tastes. What's that? Yeah, points to Drinkworks for this, for that. Yeah, points for Drinkworks for that. Although Drinkworks made a terrible drink. Right. I mean, it's literally just drinks for lazy people. I mean, this is definitely drinks for lazy people as well, but let's just see like, I don't know. I, I think very highly of our viewers, but I, I don't think that this really hits our demographic very much. All right, let's taste the drink. Oh my God, that's so sweet. I gotta say, it's a little bit colder than I thought it would be. This big piece of ice is really chilling in a little bit faster than I thought, but you know, honestly, it tastes like aqua velva mixed with bourbon. A little bit. It's, it really doesn't taste very good. It's overly sweet. Obviously, the citrus has this weird flavor to it. I just cannot place. The citrus is obviously, you know, citrus cocktails in machines is really difficult to do because you're not, you know, citrus oxidizes and it's never going to taste fresh. It's never going to taste like, you know, a fresh drink. And the question is, the question is, the question becomes, is this even palatable enough to just choke down before a ball game or go into the movies or pre-gaming to go out? Because that's what this machine is for, right? It's like for pre-gaming. I guess, yeah. I mean, it's not for quickly making a delicious cocktail, I guess. It's got a weird flavor to it. it could that be like the what's supposed to be a foaming agent or... Well, I mean, if it was a foaming agent, it would be doing a very bad job. Right. All right. So, summarize. Uh, this is a fail. Yeah. I. It's not a good drink. It's worse than the drink works. I don't like it I, at all. For, for about the same money, I would get the drink works. Save a few bucks and just quicker. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do this, you know, I don't know. Save a few bucks, dude, and make the drink yourself. Right. But if you were buying a machine, I would get the but drink. But if you were buying a machine, well, I'll get the drink works. Yeah. If you were buying a machine, why would you buy a machine? Why would you spend three? I would rather spend three hundred dollars on like building a home bar. Well, you than were saying this uh, machine. We had some now viewers that commented. Well, there was one viewer that commented yeah. that said, "Listen, I love your channel. I listen to it, and I'm blind. Okay, so she listens to our channel. She loves the channel, but she can't mix her own drinks." And then she said she saw the Drinkworks review, but was kind of reticent to try to buy it had I tried the Bartesian. Mm -hmm. And how did I feel about the Bartesian? At the time, I hadn't, I hadn't done the Bartesian. So I didn't know. To that person, I would say, get the Drinkworks. It's a better machine. It makes a better drink. Right. And it's just easier. It chills it. Right. 
comes so with there, the alcohol. So there are people that have a legitimate reason to want to use a machine that can't really mix their own drink that may not be wealthy enough to have a manservant to just mix drinks for them because that's what I would do if I were blind. I'd have a manservant or a lady servant mix my drinks for me. But said, if, if that's not it, if first. you can't have that, then the drink works machine over the Bartesian for sure, 100%. Yes, Bartesian's not going to be very happy I don't, I don't understand the purpose of this. You can choose your own booze, but you still got to chill it and shake it and do all the work. Yeah, I mean, there, yeah, I, I there's no it. point. Like, the Drinkworks wins because it chills your cocktail, and it really is just like a one-button, like a one-tap system where you just tap it, and it goes, and then you drink it. Whereas this, it's like, you got to put it in this, and you got to get the ice, and you got to do this, and you got to do that. It's it like, looks, it's a lot of work. You might as well just make your own cocktail. Yeah, it looks cooler sitting on a... On a table or counter. Yes, but I can think of less expensive conversation pieces or more expensive conversation pieces that make for better conversations. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I guess that's it for the Bartesian. I kind of feel like this is a fail. Um, hopefully one day somebody will invent something that's really, really, really groundbreaking. But until that day, use the drink works. Don't use the Bartesian. That being said, who wants this bad boy after I pooed all over it all right so we're going to give this thing away how are they going to do it marius tell us the rules go to in our instagram find a picture of the bartesian tag two friends like the picture of course like the picture yeah tag two friends you must be following us on on instagram i'm making this up as i go along yeah and unfortunately you kind of need to be in the u.s Yes, you need to be in the U.S. All right, here's the deal. This, we're locking this out because this is an expensive ship. Shipping things to Europe is really expensive. We have not usually... Uh, and, and also this is going to be a U.S. Situation. only. What's that? And the power situation. Probably. Oh, and the power situation is also kind of a weird thing. Yes, so this is going to be a U.S. only giveaway. Sorry, guys. We're going to be... Uh, so this is what we do. Let's summarize. All right. Go to our Instagram, find the drink, not the drink works, but the Bartesian post. Mm -hmm. When you find the Bartesian post, tag two friends that you think would like our content, I guess. You must be following us. Comment. And we will choose a winner in how many days? Uh, a week, right? A week. Wait, but is it going to be a proper, is it going to be seven days or is it going to be like Monday through Friday week? It'll be the, yeah, I don't know. Monday through Friday. Okay, we're going to do a Monday through Friday. So we'll be posting this on a Monday yeah. or a Sunday. Maybe a Monday. We'll post it on a Monday. By Friday, we'll pick the winner. All right, guys, good luck. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on our main channel, The Educated Barfly, if you don't already. And then uh, we've got memberships there. We've got cool stuff going on. We've got more awesome content coming to Barfly Freeport. Uh, hopefully, this has been an informative somewhat or at least comment generating post for you guys and we will see you guys on the next video leandro out i don't know live long and prosper yeah that's it see you guys another time <laughs>